Cheers, guys. Well, Anthony Joshua proved to be British boxing's latest heavyweight sensation. Can he turn Olympic gold into a golden career? So this is it, Carl, launch night for our latest heavyweight sensation. Yeah, bit, right? this is a very, very big He's occasion, just, great just venue. And, you know, it's his, it's his pro debut following on from becoming Olympic champion. So this is, this is the start of potentially a very, very long and exciting journey for Anthony Joshua. How much pressure Darren Barker is on those shoulders right now? Only pressure he'd be putting in his own shoulders. You know, it's, it's a great occasion for him to be making his debut and I think he you know, be looking forward to getting in there now and, and getting his career, uh, you know, underway. No guarantee of success, though, is the Olympic gold. We've seen that before. No, certainly not. He's stepping into a, into a different world now, and it's the, it's the pro game. But I think, you know, that young man's going to make the step well worthwhile. So 14 months on from the elation here in the East End of London in 2012, Anthony Joshua had a gold medal hanging around his neck. Now he's back. It's the start of a new journey which he hoped is paved with more gold for the very first time. Anthony Joshua enters the ring as a professional fighter. Our MC is John McDonald. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the waiting is over. Here he is, Anthony Joshua! Ladies and gentlemen, six rounds international heavyweight contest. Introducing to you firstly, I'm fighting out of the red corner, when the black trunks trimmed with silver and yellow. Weighing into 16 stone, six pounds, eight ounces. He is undefeated. Eight contests, eight wins, three inside the scheduled distance. Boxing for the very first time outside of his native Italy. Please welcome Emanuele Leo. And now, ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white trunks and weighing in a 16 stone, six pounds of 12 ounces, making his professional debut, having been the two-time ABA champion and the winner of the Olympic gold medal in the heavyweight division. It's time now to unveil the future People's 
champion, ladies and gentlemen, we present Anthony Joshua! Time given the bell is Bob Edgeworth and our referee in charge of the action is Mr. Ian John Lewis. Six rounds, international heavyweight contest. I am the referee. Obey my command at all times. You both know the rules. Watch the heads, keep the punches up. And when I shout break, you break clean. Shake hands. Well, this is where the journey begins, isn't it? Do we have another Lennox Lewis on our hands? Do we have another Ollie Harrison on our hands? Or do we have something in between? We won't find all the answers tonight, of course, but at least the journey will begin and it promises to be fun and exciting. And it's Emmanuele Leo from Italy that's cast Seven in the role of Al Malcolm and Mike Middleton. And if you want to know who they are, Al Malcolm was the debutant for Lennox Lewis back in 1989. And Middleton for Audley Harrison in 2001. None of those two gentlemen lasted very long. Middleton went inside a round. Malcolm 19 seconds into round two. So let's see what Joshua can do with this fella. And the long right hand's already just rocked him back. And a switch downstairs. Oh, and he's got him. Big solid right hand there, has shaken the Italian. Didn't get his full power behind that, was well delivered the shot, was accurate, but he, his weight was moving back. The same punch with his mate moving forward uh, could give us an early night, I believe. It's amazing that these two scale almost exactly the same. But Joshua chiselled, the body shape's so different. There's another one of those long right hands, and Emmanuel Leo is feeling those, there's another one going inside. He comes in with that unbeaten record of his. Got the good jabs, and Joshua just teeing off with everything at the moment. Now you can see he's going to enjoy the, the pro game. There's a good professional look about his work here. OK, we, we, we know the, the opposition, you don't fancy it's going to be much in a pro debut, but it's the way he's going about the job, you know, really professional looking. And taking his time as well, not looking to just come out and blitz him. Going to pick his shots, there's another one of those right hands, and the Italian hangs on. He's taking the punches, Leo, and he's uh, letting some punches go, <laughs> not just making up the numbers, good on him. Joshua with a couple of spearing jabs getting through, another one of those right hands, the legs have turned to jelly, and he's ready to go already. There's another big shot, another couple more, he's still standing, but for how much longer the legs are dipping again. Ian John Lewis having a look. Well, he's brave, but he is just getting blitzed here. He cannot stop these right hands, and he's going to get hurt pretty soon if he's not careful. There's an argument to stop this already. Well, look how cool Joshua is. He knows the end is in sight. He's not in any hurry, just taking his time. He's settled back down again. He knows he's one clean punch away from finishing this. And he's still got 40 seconds left to do it inside a round if he wants to, but he's taking his time, measuring his man. Leo's credit, he has taken some solid shots, still standing, now an uppercut just jams him up. Nah, holding and, uh, and punching, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't want any of that. <laughs> he knows some tricks for a rookie. Oh. What is keeping Leo up? He is getting tattooed here, and he has to go, and it's over. That's what the fuss is about. He's destroyed a very brave opponent. And he hasn't broken a sweat. And he's looking around as if to say, is that what the pro game is about? Is it that easy? Well, no, it isn't. Not going down the road, but that's the kind of start you want when you're taking your first step in the pro game. Now, everything he did was class. Uh, they have Leo on the floor at the moment, they have oxygen handy, but I'm pretty sure uh, he'll get himself back together again. He was supposed to take some terrific punches. Uh, I mean, there was a case for stopping it a little bit earlier, but I think everyone would have been disappointed, uh, including Leo, because he was giving it a go, and thankfully he's back on his feet again, and he's fine, so now we can talk about the performance of Joshua. Yeah, very professional looking, it's only his first outing, but he was cool, several times he hurt Leo, but he just kept his cool, he knew the end was in sight, and uh, the finish was tremendous. It really was, and Leo was cut, he's getting some oxygen now, I think he's going to be OK, because he's uh, he's already having a bit of a moan and complaint in there, but, uh, yeah, this this was clinical and ruthless, wasn't it, from Joshua? Yeah, and, and he, 
he has a presence about him for which sometimes you have to grow into but as soon as he's shaped up you can see how well he's adapted to the pro game okay fights are going to get a lot tougher in, in this opponents are going to be high far higher class eventually but this has been a special night for him and i'm sure he'll be delighted for the way he executed the job terrific punch and to his credit leo took a few punches like that and he's taken this one as you can see and looking straight back he came with a bit of ambition let's keep in mind he has an unbeaten record of his own so i mean he comes uh, with pride to put on a show and he's done that but uh, joshua different class the jab you can see that the snap in the jab walking in with the punches pouring the punches now accurate and John Lewis picked the right time to get him out of there. Yeah, you've got to like the timing, you've got to like the power, you've got to like the accuracy, you've got to like the spite as well. A little bit of edge about him in there, Would you, you need that. Yep, yeah, and the fact that he was never in any hurry. He knew, if I don't get him out this time, I'll get him out next time. So he, he kept his composure, didn't allow it to get into a mess. Leo, for full credit, didn't grab hold and spoil. He tried to give it a go himself. So he gave Josh a the chance to look good and he certainly did look good well that is going to get British boxing buzzing even more than it is already and there's his family members they are loving it Watford's pretty empty tonight by the look of it and why not the golden boy here he is Anthony Joshua welcome to the pro game what an entrance Ladies and gentlemen, timekeeper Bob Edgeworth has recorded a time of 2 minutes and 47 seconds of the first round. Leo is in no position to continue. Your winner on his professional debut, the future people's champion, Anthony Joshua. A sharp appreciation, please, for Emmanuel. Leo. Enjoy the moment, Anthony Joshua. 15 seconds remaining of round one. A demolition job. And Carl Froch, the, the, the statement he wanted to make. Yes, definitely. As, as professional debuts go, that was, that was a perfect, perfect fight. A flawless victory. He looked strong. He took his time. He didn't look nervous. He could have been a bit apprehensive. He wasn't. He was, he was careful. You know, obviously, he's at the start of a very long journey um, and it's easy to get carried away, but he looks like a physical fine specimen there and he just put on a great performance. Very happy for him and um, he couldn't have asked much more. And um, great finish, that last right hook looked vicious. Big day for the big man. We'll be hearing from him in a couple of minutes' time. Anthony, it was obviously a very, very special night when he won the Olympic gold medal. How important was it to get your professional career off with a statement like that? Uh, it was just as important as winning the Olympics because everyone's here to support and everyone's proud that we got the victory. Um, and it's just on to the next one. I'll put that one behind us, but I'm, I'm really happy with my performance. You put it right up there as as, as important a night to kickstart it like that. I think um, every time I step into the ring is as important as an Olympic final. I've got to take my career serious. But um, winning the Olympics was priceless experience as well. And this is my pro debut. There's only one pro debut, and we ended it in spectacular fashion. You look relaxed. You look cool. You're getting the jab working early. How did it feel without the head guard and with the little gloves on? If the little gloves feel really good. <laughs> I prefer the pro game a bit more to the amateurs, not neglecting the amateurs, but um, it, like, it feels like the real deal when I was getting my hands wrapped. You know, it takes about 30 minutes to get your hands properly wrapped, slip my hands into these tight, small gloves. And uh, it's like two guys just coming out with their, with their heart on their sleeve trading, and I really enjoyed it. And he was unbeaten too in eight, so, you know, not, not a month for your first fight. No, you could see he was game, you could take a shot, you know what I mean? He, he's got a winner's mentality, eight and oh, that's what he's in the game to do, is win. And, uh, to do what I've done. It's just the start though, do you know what I mean? I don't want to get carried away. It's just the beginning, but we can build on that and uh, that's the main thing. But you found your timing pretty quickly and got into a nice rhythm. Yeah, people have been asking me. I've been out of the ring for 14 months, but 
it just shows like if you stay in the gym and stay dedicated I've got good family I've built a really good team around me that keeps me grounded and I just got to keep on grinding it out and keep on improving so another 14 months in the ring we'll see what happens your trainer alongside you, Tony Sims in red hot form himself at the moment with a really good stable how pleased were you with the way Anthony dealt with tonight yeah really pleased like in the changing room before the fight you know considering all the hype and the pressure that he's had around him all week he was really calm in the changing room as calm as a, you've ever seen a fighter and um, you know once he got in there he was nice and relaxed got behind his jab straight shots one two down the center you know and you can see the power in the kid you know he's unbelievable power and he's only a young kid 23 years old you know you're gonna you're gonna see this kid be a, a real real star of the future and he executed the plan swiftly and correctly that's right you know bearing in mind the geezer was 8 and 0 never been beat you know an unbeaten fighter's coming to the ring like that you know and he he done he done the business tonight Promoter Eddie Hearn, one or two butterflies beforehand, before he went in? Yeah, especially taking on an, an undefeated fighter, 8-0. You know, that was a, a, a great performance. Every step is going to be a learning curve. You know, three weeks, we're back out October the 26th, Sheffield Arena, for the Kel Brook Senchenko card. And, you know, I'm so excited about Anthony Joshua, not just because he's a great talent, but I think we've got a real chance of a role model, an ambassador in the sport of boxing, someone that young people can look up to. And this is going to be a great journey. So keep him busy and keep him uh, in front of a casual audience. Bring boxing right back up. Exactly. And with Anthony Joshua, we've got every chance to do it. Let's box him October 26th, November 23rd on a Frotch Groves undercard. Maybe even take him to Germany when dazzling Darren Barker destroys Felix Stern. Loads of opportunities. Keep him active. We've got a massive star on our hands. Finally, Anthony, back in, in front of your home crowd. Just sum up the, the whole evening tonight. If I was to sum up the whole evening, it's a, it's a once in a lifetime, my pro debut, it's never going to happen again. And I just want to say, main thing is thanks to everyone that came out to support and everyone at home that was watching. You know, I'm proud of my cousin Ben Eliyemi as well, he got his win. You know, so we're on the rise right now and um, just a good entrance to the professional game. A long, hard journey ahead, but you believe you can go all the way, don't you? I'm not saying anything just yet. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your night, see you soon, Nancy, well done. Darren Barker, a cool head on very young shoulders. Yeah, yeah, I'm just glad I'm not a heavyweight because uh, that, that finish looked painful. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was the dream debut. It was Setting perfect. the night, yeah. everything. It was very, very good. Yeah, we've waited a long while for this and, and it's finally happened and the journey's started now. And I think it's going to be a great journey, but I think, you know, looking at him, I've, I've been around a lot of good heavyweights over the years and you know they all come with with that fundamental weapon which is, is you need in in 